वेलकम टू द टेक टॉक शो आर एंड डी इज क्रूशियल फॉर इनोवेशन ब्रेक थ्रूज इन्वेंशन डेवलपमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ द ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट दैट इमर्जेज इन द मॉडर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव वर्ल्ड कैन नॉट बी अंडरमाइंड If we look at the global statistics we will find that most of the developed nations spend extensively on research and development Israel spends almost 5% of its GDP on R&D the United States spends 3.1% South Korea 4.6% Germany and Japan 3.2% and China spends almost 2.2% whereas India spends only 0.6% of its GDP on R&D We are the fifth largest economy in the world and are dreaming to become a 5 trillion dollar economy hence it becomes essential for India to increase its investment in R&D to boost innovation now let's discuss what is R&D research and development it comprises of a systematic investigation study and analysis to create any new idea or method that may be applied either to enhance the existing processes systems and technologies or to develop new technologies methods or systems now the question arises what role do educational institution play to promote r&d in any country see education institutions are considered to be the foundation not only for a country but also for an entire civilization now we are going to discuss the importance of research and development in educational institutions and its far fetching benefits to students entrepreneurship and finally to the nation we shall also see how an educational institution can create a suitable environment to promote research and innovation and how kit group of institutions is endeavoring to inculcate a culture of research and innovation among faculty and students and advancing itself through sponsored programs funded by various government organizations today with us we have dr ruchita gautam assistant dean r&d and associate professor electronics and communication engineering welcome to the show ma'am thanks it's really great to be at the show we would like to know about research and development at kit and its achievements for the kit group of institutions excellence is a continuous process and it always keeps on striving for creating new milestones and you would be glad to know that kit has been recognized as scientific and industrial research organization by the department of scientific and industrial research dsir that is the ministry of science and technology government of india apart from this if we talk about the culture of r&d more than 150 faculty members at kite are phd holders and under their proficient guidance several students from various institutions have registered for their phd that's wonderful in my personal opinion doctoral education for academicians and faculty members has become very important in the modern era they are considered the founders of knowledge based economic development yes that's true see in the modern economy that is completely knowledge based that we all know so we need more highly educated people with technical and professional skills now coming back to r&d at kite a good number of patents have also been published and granted in the name of kite group of institutions and a good number of research papers have been published in reputed sci and scopus journals by both faculty and students we have also received grants for research and development from various government agencies like aict dst cst aktu etc and the number is endless it's really great to know all these details and the achievements are really great KIT must have put a lot of efforts and time for this. I would like to know how could KIT create such a vibrant culture for research and development. We have a dedicated team of experienced members working persistently under the leadership of Dr. Sanjay Sharma. He is Dean R&D and HOD Electronics and Communication Engineering. We also have committees at departmental level. to promote r&d culture at kite so you can see it's a team work that's true uh, we can do so much when we act as a team uh, my next question is what all facilities does kit provide to its faculty members or i say researchers for research and development 
We have a research and development center at campus that is dedicated solely for R&D. It is equipped with latest technologies and software required for modern R&D. For example, MATLAB, LabVIEW, LATEX, MyLoft app, OptSim, etc. And it will be upgraded with more research softwares very soon. We also have Turntin software for checking plagiarism. There are various centers of excellence and technical clubs also, which are together working in the field of research and development. That's really great that researchers get so many facilities here. Are there any other sorts of benefits in terms of relaxation, uh, financial support uh, provided to the researchers at KIT? Yes, sure. There are multiple benefits offered to researchers. In every academic session, 10% of faculty members from each department are identified as research faculty members. And the institute has a policy for them also by the name KITE Research Faculty Members Policy. They are given minimum administrative responsibilities in the department so that they can focus more on research. They even get monetary support for research in various cases. And apart from this, uh, there are various award and incentive policies also, like CV Raman Award Policy, Award for Best Supervisors and Co-Supervisors, Incentives for Paper Publications, Reimbursement of Conference Registration Fees, etc. Admirable. Sir, I would also like to add few more things. Apart from these facilities, fee reimbursement on acquisition of PhD from reputed institutes or universities, ODs for completing PhD, and the faculty members who complete their PhD part-time while in service are also entitled for three increments. That's really great, ma'am. And what about research materials, sources? I would say e-resources, since everything is available online now. Does KIT provide any e-resources for researchers? Yes, definitely. I would say we have AKTU Nalanda e-consortium. That is in MyLoft, my library on fingertips. That can be downloaded on laptops or on mobiles also. It is having subscription for faculty members and students. One can find there more than 2,500 reputed journals like Elsewhere, Science Direct, Springer, Cambridge University Press, etc. And more than 19,000 books of reputed publishers like Taylor & Francis, Oxford University Press, McGraw-Hill, etc. And we all know that today the students are preferring more the online mode rather than the offline. Means the books which are there online are used mostly. So this MyLoft subscription, is it available for free? Yes, it's available free of cost. Any Kaitian can download it on their laptops or on their mobiles. Well, that's another huge initiative, I would say. Ma'am, now tell us uh, about the unique areas in research where KIT has dominance or it is contributing proactively. Well, KIT is contributing proactively in various fields like medical industry, electrical vehicles, etc. The institute has also signed an MOU with a biomedical company that is MBS India Private Limited and has established a center of excellence at KITE where students work on various biomedical products like patient monitors, anesthesia workstations, ECG machines, etc. and learn through reverse engineering. That's really great. For viewers, I would like to tell that reverse engineering is a process uh, where a machine or a product is broken down into small components and then reconstructed. It helps the students to get a more parametric idea of the structure. Okay ma'am, uh, you please continue. Yes, in addition to that, we also have NI LabVIEW Academy where GUI of biomedical instruments are designed and tested. Our researchers are also in the field of solar PV integration technologies and operational strategies of energy transportation systems such as microgrids, smart grids and distributed generation. In the center of excellence for electric mobility, design, analysis, prototyping, backfitting of different motor and power control topologies 
for a smart e-vehicle are going on. And we all know that this is the latest technology, which is the work on which the research work is going on nowadays. Great. We can see that KIT has taken a lot of initiatives to promote research. Okay, ma'am, one last question. Since we have limited time, I shall have to wrap it up. What do you think uh, is the future of research and development in India and how can it contribute to the society and the nation? Okay. Uh, we all know that science, technology, innovation and research, these all are the key drivers for economic growth and human development also. Research plays an important role in developing critical thinking, problem solving ability, out of the box thinking, which is the requirement of today's scenario. I would say that it is directly related to innovation, entrepreneurship and boosting startup culture. Only through investment in research and innovation, the vision and the clarion call of our Honorable Prime Minister for Make in India and Atma Nirbhar Bharat can be fulfilled. That's true. As I said in the beginning, investment in research and development is quite necessary and beneficial if we won't uh, stay ahead in modern competitive era. Thanks for coming, ma'am. Thank you so much. Welcome, sir. For more information about research and development at KIT, you can visit our website that is www.kit.edu. Goodbye. Take care. See you again.